I come from a nerdy, mathy background. Uh, I didn't have enough appreciation of the role of art in general. If you add to that the uh, oppressive government that I uh, lived most of my life under and how most of us were not allowed to express ourselves, art did not play a huge part in my life growing up. I did not get to appreciate the uh, amazing uh, role of art bringing people together until very recently. I'm a Palestinian American. I grew up not trusting the media because our story has never been said. Uh, so me having this opportunity to you know, speak my truth as a Palestinian American is so incredibly unique. I was sort of at a place within the English community where I knew every time I wrote something about my culture, it was seen as like the other form of writing and not necessarily what all my other classmates were writing. And I wanted to be a part of a community where my writing was special, not because it wasn't written by a white person, but just because I was writing it. This was my first time writing creatively on a professional level. I wasn't a, a trained writer in the past. Writing this essay was so incredibly hard. At one point expected, uh, especially at the beginning, that I, everyone around me would be pulling their hair out. But um, uh, that was not the case. I was surrounded by love and support and help all, every day of, uh, of the project. I can't thank Andrea and Alicia more for helping me develop the story, making me believe that it could be done and to be able to tell it to the whole world. It really took out a lot in me because it's something that I didn't really talk about before. Something creating the story has made me realize is that I do have a voice that is very powerful and I shouldn't let people trample my version of what my identity is. As I was reading my own writing, I discovered many things about myself that I did not even notice. It, it made me think about how we, as we grow up, uh, get to frame uh, or have mental images about a lot of the things that surround us. And at one point it gets really easy to use these uh, mental images to judge other people or other stories even before we hear or see these stories unfold. I hope that my writing will show that we immigrants are like anybody else in the world. We want to live a decent life, earn a good living, and grow a family peacefully. I hope that with, with these kind of stories, we, we are able to create a more open platform where we'll be able to speak truth and um, we're able to speak uh, love and peace. As far as I'm concerned, the more people that can understand different cultures, stories, and sort of grow to be empathetic about other people, um, the safer and kinder place the world would be.